Sierra Leone, the Lion Mountain as the first explorers call it, stands expectant as the Royal Yacht Britannia sails up the estuary to Freetown. Sierra Leone is an independent member of the Commonwealth and Britannia brings Queen Elizabeth II, their own queen and head of the Commonwealth. The guns of the Royal Sierra Leone Regiment thundered out a salute. Before Britannia had dropped anchor, Freetown's famous Bullen boats sailed out in force to give the traditional welcome of this seagoing people to their sovereign. All Freetown, including members of the government and the Governor General, thronged the waterfront to greet their royal guests. The Prime Minister, Sir Milton Margai, greeted the Queen and Duke on board Britannia. As they stepped ashore, he welcomed them again to Sierra Leone and formal presentations began. Personal ensign as Queen of Sierra Leone, flying for the first time from her car, Her Majesty with the Duke of Edinburgh drove through the clamorous streets of the capital to Fort Thornton, the Governor General's residence, where she was to stay during her visit. The Mayor of Freetown received the royal visitors at a brilliant reception in Victoria Park, where they met members of the City Council, the Diplomatic Corps, and leading citizens of the capital. The mayor presented Her Majesty with a golden key, which, she told him, had unlocked the hearts of the people of Freetown and would, in the future, unlock for her many wonderful memories.